Hey Rich and Shirley, this is the property on Lee Crest. That's uh, Guinevere, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it, street there that goes down at the stop sign to the right. I'll take a video going out. That goes out, out to Willow Valley, which goes right into Nevada Street and Nevada City. So it's kind of a real primo location. Totally, totally quiet out here. It's at the corner, so the gravel road is only a matter of yards to enter into the property. 10909. She doesn't even have a sign on it because it was pending in escrow before it was even basically listed. And of course somebody in my office, Pam Mori, just came out here and he's got some client kind of hot for something like this. This house is quite large compared to the other one that came back on the market on McCourtney. This is very nice. I mean it can use a little paint and a little sprucing up but you know it's a single story. The grounds are really nice. You know it, it hasn't been TLC'd but as you can see it wouldn't uh, take a lot to bring it back to its former glory, if you want to call it that. The siding I thought was hardy board, but I think it's not, because I could put my knife into the material on the edge of it. Hardy board is that lightweight cement, but the house has been well taken care of. Nice trees, oaks, live oaks, ponderosa pines, a few cedars. This is going into the around the back of the house. I've already been in the house, turned the lights on. Very open, really nice floor plan. Master bedroom goes out from the to, to the uh, deck. Well, actually, it's this small deck back here. That would be the master bedroom and a door going into the master bedroom. And the other deck, which is raised probably six, seven feet off the ground, is down at the corner at the living room, family room, great room area, I guess you'd call it. As I say, it's, it's leveled out and things have been done. But the, a lot of madrones, but it hasn't been uh, per se finished off. But then again, this would make a great horseshoe pit area. Totally quiet and private. There's a house next door over there, but you can't really see it through the trees hardly. And again, madrones, pines. Weber barbecue ready to go. And I've been here for probably 20 minutes and I've heard I think one car and just quiet. It's nice. The roof doesn't look old. I'll maybe walk up here and go on the deck, kind of do the full tour outside here before I go into the house. This again, they got this T post fencing, probably because she had plants up there and the deer. You can see it's up on a raised foundation here, which is good. In the deck, yeah, a little debris or a few little dog houses and stuff under there. The deck is wood, looks like redwood with a stain on it, but it appears to be. I've seen a lot of decks, this one looks to be in fine shape. Just a little clutter around on it. We even got some speakers out here. Overhang. And here comes the second vehicle, so 
That road down there, it's at the corner of Genevieve and, and Le Crest. But this road just services a couple cul-de-sacs up here. This is the side. And this, of course, going over into the garage area. Nice, large, not old looking air conditioner. And the usual pine needles on the roof. You got to blow these roofs off three or four times a year to, if you want to keep it off. And a composition roof, you know, it's not hard to do. Okay, so maybe I'll take a jaunt around the house. I'll give you a sneak peek in the kitchen here. I want to go in the front door. <laughs> Because the front door is over there. There's a wood stove and just a very large room here. Straight ahead, that little room over there actually has a, a wood burning fireplace, kind of a formal living area. And over there behind the wood stove where that light is, is a formal dining room. And then you got the, uh, the um, garage at that door back there. And before you go out the garage on the right is the laundry area. So it's kind of really nicely laid out. Kitchen, the cabinets, a lot of them. Nice island area, gas, but not, uh, you know, not spruced up more than that. And it's like a leno floor. But it's, you know, it's laid out very nice. Vaulted ceiling here. That was your sneak preview of the inside. <laughs> we'll go around here and. I like it when they put these quick shut-off valves on the pipes, the handles. Master bedroom back here. Walk over here is the property, probably I'm trying to sell you at least you know, it goes over here quite a ways because here's a enclosed area back here. A little table for sitting. Another little barbecue there. Keep going over here so you can see where the neighbor is. So there's the neighbor over there. And down here across the street, there's one, but those are the two closest houses. And of course, this house is back over here. A little shed. And I'll have to see if I need the key to open the door. A lot of parking room here, room for two or three RVs and 20 or 30 cars around the yard here. You have a lot of guests <laughs> you could upgrade it and pave this little area that comes off the road into your property which really isn't that expensive but and this is the blue bottle trunk somebody put cobalt blue bottles on the trunk but this just needs to be, and there's lights, there's, I think there's sprinklers out here. It just needs to be uh, spruced up. A weather vane up there. And back around to the front. There's no cracks in the concrete here or anything, but it... Uh, you could upgrade it and put some stone on it or whatever. Okay, next video in the house we go.